a twinkle read aloud. The perfect ribbit. On a sunny day in spring, Mama Frog admired the eggs she had laid in the pond. That is the most beautiful clump of frog spawn I've ever seen, smiled Papa Frog. Mama and Papa couldn't wait for the little black dots to turn into tadpoles so they could welcome them to the pond. After three weeks, the first tadpole wriggled out of his jelly, excited to explore. Mama says I'm a tapple, he told the fish proudly. Not a tapple, a tadpole, said Mama Frog with a smile. But tapple is a great name for you. Tapple was full of questions and learned lots of things about pond life. He learned that the fish were fast swimmers and that some of the ducks had ticklish feet. Most importantly, he learned that when he grew up, he would become a frog, just like Mama and Papa. I want to be a really good frog, he thought. Maybe I should start practicing now. Tapple swam to the surface of the pond to watch some of the other frogs. They looked very different from Tapple, and they made the most amazing noises. Ribbit, ribbit, said the frogs. They were so loud that Tapple could hear them from under the water. I want to be just like them, thought Tapple, but I'll need a perfect frog noise. So, Tapple swam to the clearest patch of water and got ready to practice the perfect ribbit. He wiggled his tummy, puffed out his chin, opened his mouth, and... Frobot! he said. Tapple was disappointed. That wasn't a perfect ribbit. It's okay, said Mama Frog. You're a tiny tadpole. You'll get the hang of it when you're bigger. A few weeks later, Tapple had grown some back legs. I'm changing, he thought excitedly. Maybe I'm ready to make a frog noise now. So, Tapple clung to the tallest pond weed and got ready to practice the perfect ribbit. He wiggled his tummy, puffed out his chin, opened his mouth, and... Revit! he said. Tapple was sad. That wasn't a perfect ribbit. It's okay said Papa Frog. You're a growing tadpole. You'll get the hang of it when you're bigger. A few weeks later, Tapple had grown some front legs. I've changed some more, he thought excitedly. Maybe I'm ready to make a frog noise now. So, Tapple stood on the biggest rock and got ready to practice the perfect ribbit. He wiggled his tummy puffed out his chin, opened his mouth, and... Rarbot, he said. Tapple was worried. That wasn't a perfect ribbit. It's okay, said Mama Frog. You're nearly a froglet. You'll get the hang of it when you're bigger. A few weeks later, Tapple's tail began to shrink and he felt able to explore above the water. I'm a froglet, he thought excitedly. Maybe I'm ready to make a frog noise now. So, Tapple stood on the prettiest lily pad and got ready to practice the perfect ribbit. He wiggled his tummy, puffed out his chin, opened his mouth and... Crowk! That wasn't a perfect ribbit. 
But it was a perfect croak. Froggy facts. Female frogs can lay thousands of eggs at a time. A group of frogs is called an army. Frogs can drink water through their skin. Frogs are amphibians. This means they can live on land and in water. Frogs can breathe through their skin and also by using their lungs. Common frogs hibernate in winter. Thanks for joining us! Subscribe to Twinkle Teaching Resources USA for more Twinkle Read Alouds. See you next time!